Hello and welcome to another edition of Starrett Video Support Series, and I'm Eric Perkins. Today I'd like to talk about the DFG modes, and modes are what you can do with the force gauge. So currently, if you look right here on the display where I'm circling it, this icon that looks like a play button is actually the real-time mode indicator. So what does real-time mode do? Well, you'll have a current display here, but you'll have your peak register, peak tension, and peak compression up here in the upper right. So let me move it to show you what I'm talking about. So there's peak compression. And if I move it the other way, you'll see that we have peak tension. Now if I go back with our slide here, go back to zero, noticed up in the display here it has froze the two peak readings both tension and compression the other modes that we have with the force gauge are peak compression notice the arrows are pointing together so let's zero everything out again arrows pointing down means you're in compression mode so if I go ahead and do my display now what happens is you get your real-time display up here and you'll get the peak value frozen in big numbers on the display. Same thing with compression, let's, or attention, let's look at that real quick. So notice the arrow's pointing up, arrow's pointing away, it's telling you it's in tension mode. So if I go in tension mode, and then I go back, notice my real time upper in the upper right is giving you a value, and my peak value is frozen in the center. That's the difference between real-time and then peak compression and peak tension. 